Hello everybody, it's Matt Wellens. Today we are going to be playing Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered Version. So I believe this game was known as Fahrenheit in Europe and Indigo Prophecy in North America. And for the remastered version, what they did was just combine the name and called it Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy so that everything is less confusing. So, what is this game about? It's made by Quantic Dream who you may already know from their other pretty well-known games such as Heavy Rain and Ellen Page Simulator aka Beyond Two Souls. And in that same style, it's pretty much one of those games where it's like a film almost. And yes, before we start though, we should get on the same page. I've read a lot about this game, not about the specific story and plot details, I don't know anything at all pretty much. But everyone says that this game is really intriguing in the first two quarters, two thirds, and it goes batshit crazy by the end. So what you want to do is take that bar of expectations after you heard that it was made by the people who made Heavy Rain and take it down a notch, bring it down here, all right, so that we're all on the same page. Like, I think it's going to be a good story, but it might not make as much sense as we would like it to make by the end of it. That's all I'm saying. And uh, what else have I heard about this game? Let's see. Well, for another thing, this game is actually 10 years old, 2005 release, I think. Man, I was in, I was in sixth grade in 2005. Not quite a recent game, but you know what? A game's, what do you call that? A game's goodness, how good a game is, is not really determined by the year it's released in, right? So, whatever. If it's good, it's gonna be good. The graphics might be a little bit dated, though. Hey, I'm going to be playing on a controller today because I tried the PC controls and it was unplayable on PC. Like, you know how in modern games, when you press WASD, that's how you move, right? And, you know, basically, W is move forward, and S would make you turn around and walk backwards. But in here, if you use PC controls, if you press S, it turns you around 180 degrees, and if you want to walk backwards, you have to press W again, which is really stupid. But, um, yeah, I think that's all I want to say before starting the game. It's old, it goes crazy by the end, so lower your expectations, and it's gonna be like a film. I don't know what the story's about, but... Let's find out together. So I've played the tutorial a little bit just to get the hang of the controls, but I think we should go through it together just so everyone is on the same page about all the little icons that appear around. And the tutorial is actually pretty hilarious too. Look at this. Hi, my name is David Cage. Uh, why is it I'm in the French? writer and director of Fire Night. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, so many different languages. Alright, okay, we got... No, 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 no. We got English. Okay, okay. Let's get back to the tutorial. Well, that was a mood killer. There we go. Hi. My name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of Fire Night. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him while you're learning. Let's begin with something simple. Move toward the mark on the floor. I found this tutorial hilarious because why is- why the heck did they bother animating a guy who was working on the game and why don't they just make him talk or write some text on the screen? But no, instead they just- Perfect. They animated Now him. you know how to move about. You're also going to have to be able to observe your environment. To do so, you'll have direct control of the cameras. Come on, give it a try. Alright, left and right to move the camera. Yeah, what now, man? I got it. You can also look around you and see exactly what you want to see. Ooh. Okay, man. But you won't be just looking around you in Fahrenheit. You'll also have to interact with your environment. Go to the door. Do you see the symbol at the top of the screen? It indicates yes. the movement you have to make to execute the action. Do it slowly to really feel you're controlling your character's hand. Go ahead. So it's like that thing with Heavy Rain where you can half do a motion. <laughs> oh my god, okay, that's enough. That's cool. Now that you know how to move about, use the cameras, and interact with the environment, we can move on to more serious stuff. Fahrenheit has action sequences where your character's life will be in danger. 
I'd better explain this to you before you find yourself on your own. Go to the rib stall. What is a rib stall? This thing? Let's see. Okay, so we want to climb it. When this symbol appears at the top of the screen, it means your character is gonna have to make a physical effort. You'll see. You'll be exhausted too. Press the left and right. Alternately, alternately, as quickly as possible. I hate this kind of stuff. Hey, not bad. Now for something a bit more difficult. You're gonna find yourself facing all kinds of dangers in Fahrenheit. You're gonna need a cool head and good reflexes if you want to survive. Let's see how it works. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about this earlier, but apparently this game has an insane amount of QTEs, quick time events. So we're gonna have to be on guard every single cutscene, because they're randomly gonna try to kill us. Okay, I see you've got the hang of it. Now we can move on to something else. You can also choose what you want to say in dialogues in Fahrenheit. Let's give it a try. Um, what do you think of my friend Bob? So sexy! Hey Bob, did you hear that? Right, I see you've got the hang of the dialogues. In Fahrenheit, you'll only have a limited amount of time to make up your mind. So you'd better think fast. Now, let's talk about your mental health. In Fahrenheit, your actions modify the psychological state of your character. Each time it changes, the symbol will appear on screen. Take care of your character, otherwise you may fall into depression, madness, or even commit suicide. Oh my oh, god. I nearly forgot something important. In Fahrenheit, you'll be able to control all the main characters. Be careful. Your every action will have consequences for the story. A word of advice, think before you act. That's it. I've told you everything I know, or nearly everything. There are still lots of things to discover, but I'll leave you the surprise of finding them for yourself. Now it's up to you to play. And be careful, you're entering a world where anything can happen. Thanks, Mr. Cage. So I'm really bad at timed things, and I'm very prone to making bad decisions when making timed decisions, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it'll be okay. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. Oh my god.
Uh, dude? Um... Oh my goodness! done. I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I... I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. When this icon in the upper right corner is on screen, your progress is automatically saved. Okay, thank you. Um, can we like hide the body? Or something? Oh my god. It's so stressful. Uh, okay. Dang, just putting him in the stall made me go from depressed to anxious. That's pretty good. Oh, someone's gonna come in. Oh my god, what about the- can we mop it up? Or can we clean ourselves? Out of order. Not that one! The other one! Out of Not order. Not that one! Out of oh order. Oh my god, okay, I think it's just out of order then. Oh, oh, there was a different button for the- oh my god. Checking out how we look. Okay, um... Is someone gonna come in any moment now, or... Or like what? Uh, I see a mop. I see a mop. Let's see. Uh... Uh... Okay, clearly I'm not- I don't understand the controls, man. I need to keep pressing up. Okay. Ooh! Good job. Okay, can we like get out from the window or something? No? No, wait. Uh... Duh. It's barred up. I can't get out this way. Crap. Oh, crap! He got anxious! Uh... Mop the floor. Mop the floor. I'm bleeding. I must have cut my wrist with the knife. Both of my forearms are cut too. Ooh. Why the pee? Oh my god. Can I do it again? Nope. Okay. Oh crap. Now they have our DNA right there. Um, can we wash our hands again? Someone's gonna come in, man. Okay, I can't wash my hands again, because it's gonna make me go to that. Out of yeah. order. Alright. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. The policeman! The policeman! Uh, uh. Oh my god. Walk properly, please. Please walk properly. Okay. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Let's run, let's run. Oh my god. Hey, sir, your bill! Oh, crap! I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! The police is looking! I live too far away to walk. I have to oh, find crap. another way to get back home. Nobody goes anywhere. Oh my god. Taxi! Taxi! A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Woo! Uh, Brooklyn. Alright, okay, I think we dealt with that a little.
someone saw. Potentially. Okay, so it seems like we're a bad guy. Or a good guy possessed. Oh, why are we back here? Oh, are we playing a, as a different character? Doc's diner. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Okay, so I'm Carla, and earlier I was Lucas. Seems like I'm some sort of police. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. So right now I feel like there's something very important that we have to think about. If we're both Lucas and Carla, and one is a murderer, one is the police, should our actions be helping one or the other? How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Uh... Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. To top it all, he left without paying. Kate tried to talk to him, then he left. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's coffee is the best in the East End. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. When the symbol appears, we can switch characters. Wow. Should we try that out? Oh. Back then, we didn't know anything yet. We just thought it was cold, you know? If I had known, I probably would have stayed in bed that night, not gotten out till it was all over. That's the problem. If we knew ahead of time what was going to happen, we'd never leave the house. Hmm. So I guess we're just gonna... I don't think we need to talk to him anymore, but... Cup of coffee, Inspector? That's sweet, Martin. Maybe later. I hope my name was not on the bill. Where's my table? Is it this one right here? Yeah, no, no. The controls are so wonky because this is a pretty old game. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. Ah, this is the table. Huh. Here's his fork. But where's the knife? A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict. Or else, he wasn't alone. Gotta remember to check with the waitress on that. A book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Yeah, I got that evidence. Oh, well, the coffee's not on the bill. 
Oh, so someone brought it over from a different table? I'm not sure. Should we... Should we look at the crime scene before we talk to the waitress? Maybe. Yeah, why not? Oh, we can phone people. Frank, can you verify all of the calls that came through this phone tonight? You got it, Carla. We can leave, but do we want to? It's fine. Maybe later. What's the other guy's name, by the way? I didn't catch it. So this is Carla and somebody. 